we might as well get started. It's a little after seven. I had a wild idea here a couple weeks ago when I looked out the window. I'm not going to only open a couple days, and, uh, and I hope that works for all of you guys. I don't expect to just open the track and have, you know, 20 cars in every class. So no sense of thinking that. So what i got to do is be, real, be uh, real wise about it, you know. So this... Uh, I'd like to open uh, on one race on June, I mean May 19th of this, this year. You might want to write that down or something there. But I'm going to do with a few classes. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm not going to invent the wheel. I'm going to take what you got. I'm just going to have a couple of friendly races, okay? So if you got any wild ideas of cheating, you're not going to hurt me. Cheat all you want. As far as I'm concerned, but I'm going to run a, like the New York State Super Stock Series with Bobby Alipa. Let him run the run the show. Just pay him the 4,200. I have no troubles. Same rules, same everything. I shangri la Sport mods will be my premier class, my top notch. Hope they do good. You know, hope everybody can. You know. You know, think about it a little bit. Not uh, this year. All I would like to do with that class is put some, uh, like a spacer plate under the under your fancy carburetor, um, and then I have that figured out pretty much to a science. So far, I mean, with a little dyno work, I think I got you covered there. But we'll practice on that and see if we can. Get the right, you know, the right plate under that carburetor to make everybody happy. Guys with the big money is ruining my track. They're they're up and gone. The boys with the the, the shallow pockets are riding in the middle or in the back. It don't it can't happen like that. Shangri La lost a lot of money since I opened. I spent my million and a half to make it go, mm -hmm. and it's it's you know it's sitting there at an idle. So we get together, try to come up with some rules, you know, for next year. This year we're going to just go with the SST rules, and we're going to put a spacer plate on them, like I say. Uh, it won't be, uh, 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 be an inch and a half, uh, or, you know, probably an inch and a quarter spacer plate to make everybody equal coming up off that corner. I can have a Morgantini motor coming up out of the bottom when we got a home built motor. So I'm going to put a spacer plate on them this year and you'll have plenty of time a couple weeks in advance to come and try the spacer plate out and make sure it works. Okay? That's, that's it for me for, for the SST series this year. Okay? Unless you uh, got some other ideas. And then we'll pick up some other classes. The four cylinder class which is not a lot but I'll tell you a little more as we linger on with that. But then we're going to do the antique vintage class. That will be popping in and do some things. My, I've never made a dollar off you guys racing. I've lost my ass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to vote all my time to the stands. Uh, I got some ideas. I'll just share one with you. I'm going to advertise, you know, with the 919, the first 30 cars that come through the gate, spectators in the stands, put a cone on their, on their roof, I'll pay them 200 for the person that has the last cone. You know what I mean? You race until it's in. Work on the stands, that's where my money's at. That's what keeps you with a $1,000 purse. It's not, not three cars, not five cars, not nine cars on the trailer. You know, come in with nine cars, don't caught it. It's, it. You just 
we got to work on the people in the stands and get them there. And um, I got to come up with different events and stuff. You guys, all got your, you all done your homework. You all built the biggest of the baddest. You know, there's no doubt about that. So, for for what it's for for what it's worth, May 19th, bring your cars. You know what I mean? Not going to change a lot. I'm going to try to bring in some other classes. I'm going to do that. That'll be my job. You guys know where you're going to be, where you stand for May 19th. You're going to run a spacer plate on the sport mods, or in a, and, and uh, Bobby Aleppo will take care of the rest. Any, uh, any other ideas for May, for May 19th? Anybody got any ideas? Hey, I have a question. We have, we have a couple cars. I bought that one car off you. Yeah. And that's the older style, street stock, the motor stock location, stock firewall. I just wonder if he, he worked in while trying to race that against these Empire Super Stocks. Cause their motor's are back far I hate to chop Well, the that's why, pieces. you know, no, we're going to get into that in just a couple more minutes here. We're going to we're gonna jump around a little bit here. If you take wow. a car like that, it'd even be worthwhile trying to next season. You know, like well, you might have a point there. I don't know. Yeah, like like I'll tell you how, how good you are in the whole in a lot of different ways. Oh, all right, yeah. let's let's just boot up here. We got pretty much everybody all set for May 19th. You got any questions? Anything? Any what tires you run? What tires? Exactly. We're gonna run whatever you run at the other track. I'm not changing nothing. But if you're running an American Racer at that uh, Shimong or this New York State Series, same thing. Can we have at it. Can we run the Hoosiers we were running at your track previously? No, no, we're not gonna. We're not going to let you do that. So I'm running a mountain every week. I can run my tires down there. Yes, and don't. If that's uh, if you uh, run American Racer and everybody's got an American Racer, that's what you will run. Okay, you're not going to come on and invent the world. You know, invent the wheel. We're not going to do that. Listen, the wheel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you got a softer tire, you know, I went to Perry run on 1160s and kicked your ass. You know, <laughs> but he didn't. But he had a two week. Uh, you know, you know, two weeks. You know, you had two weeks to adapt to their tire. I don't want to get into that. And whatever the SST rules are, you that's know. what I'm saying. You got to stick to either your American Racers or your 1070s. Right. That's well, all running. Well, well, yeah, John doesn't sell. Well, let me say, we we was huh? John only sells one tire at a time with these guys. What are they going to do? <laughs> what, what I'm saying is, the mountain guys have softer tires. We got. We can go on softer tires on a mountain. Oh, so, that's, so, we go so if I go down there for the first couple races, I can run them? I just explained to you that's exactly what happened up the Perry. You know, I, I kicked your butt for a couple weeks, you know, because they gave me two weeks of those soft tires. We, need we, don't, we don't want that. We were on a 1070 unsoftened tire. 1070 uh, or American Or the EC31. Right. Or whatever. I, I, whoever's running. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm not up on the, on the tires. I don't know where you... Uh, Cheaters are going, but you know it's uh, <laughs> you know everybody has their. Uh, you know, you guys, you guys are going to, you know what I mean? There you go. Uh, all right, let's let's just let's just drop all the you know let's move on to next year because I've really thought about this a lot and. Uh, I'd like to see the track do more than three races. This year I'm going to, like I said, do two shows, like the, the May 19th, and I'll pick another one in, in uh, maybe uh, August, back to the fall brawl. I'm definitely going to do the fall brawl. I don't know where it's going to fit in dates and times, you know, with uh, Lancaster, with their, you know, with their race, or that RLC race out there in Erie. Well, you might want to wear your coat. Uh, I'd like to bring it here. Me it's, too. You know, they, nobody likes to, uh, uh, I think it has a lot of heat with Chamon. I have a lot of problems with you bringing that RLC here, RLC to uh, race of champions to uh, Shangri-La's because of, because of Chamon. I, you know, I have never met John White. I wouldn't know what he looks like. But uh, I think there's a lot of conflict there. He's out there in the hallway. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Invite him in for your last second beer, there, Gary. But, uh, I don't really, uh, I really don't want to get into all that, that junk. I just, you know, 
I got 10 stents. I don't want to. I want to run a racetrack. I want it easy. Easy on me. You know, I want Bobby Lippa to tell me that he kicked out two people and, and I hand him 4,200. I have no worries. I don't have to do no tacking. You know, and then and they have one person do the sport mods and no problems, okay? And, and, and Shangri-La is going to blossom with or without you because I, if I have to go to a poor man's class, I will. Nothing I can do with the modifieds because they're, they're seventeen thousand dollars when they pull up to the gate. Uh, just too much. Just too much to in this area to, to gather that much up in the stands. You have to do a lot of a lot of advertising, a lot of homework, and uh, and a lot of praying. So forget that idea. As uh, far as me, you know, not that you guys couldn't go out and gather a sponsor who's got twenty grand. I'd talk to them. But I'm not uh, going to try to hustle that up. For next year, uh, i got to go back to, I want to do something with the four cylinders with the kids for 12 to 15 age limit. They can buy a car for a few dollars, for less than a thousand dollars, and you can put your grandsons or you can put your kids in them, and I think that will help a lot. You know, kids have got to come up the pike somewhere. We're really hurting for cars and drivers and everything. So we got to start somewhere. And, you know, I don't plan on dying tomorrow. So I'd like to, you know, I built that racetrack to be around racers and good, friendly people. So if I can help bring the kids around and for the next four years, get them in, you know, a $1,000 car, completely stock. I think that'll help a lot and they'll keep uh, moving up the ladder. But and then the next uh, big deal I got is the street stocks. And uh, we got away from the steel body cars and you know, the cars got really fast and Lamaru called me up and said he, he spent 40,000 already and he's probably gonna spend another you know, month before he flies. So uh, how's the little guy that buys a thousand dollar car or five thousand dollar car going to keep up with that. So we have to go back to the drawing board and come up with a metal body car and the one motor and let them put it around that way. You know there's a lot of people in Oigo that can't afford that fifty thousand dollar car that some of you guys have got good jobs and can afford that. So how do I do it? Do my there's six or eight cars that's got their $50,000 late models or street stocks or what do you want to call them. But God bless you. I mean, uh, you, get, you can afford to do that. But what do we do about the little boys yeah. that can't do yeah. nothing? You know, do they just give up racing or do they, drop, uh, or do they drop back and get a four-cylinder? So what I got in mind is a 602 crate for next year. In the in the in the street stock with a steel body car or or a stock a stock body car, uh, would matter if it's half aluminum, <coughs> half steel. But we'd run a 602 crate uh, with a 650. Run a you run a, run a you know we'll have to pump out the rules, but right now that's where I want to go with that class. For next year, and I got to work hard at it because I can't. Uh, I can't. The guys couldn't even afford. A lot of these guys could not even afford the gas it takes to chase the the uh, Olympus series around. They, they they don't even have the gas money. You mean to, to it, it, without all the tires? So I gotta. So I gotta back up a little bit and protect them and try to bring that class back a little bit. Let the boys move on up the. Up the ladder to late models or whatever they were, wherever that class might take them, let them go. You know what I mean? If they go to late models, boom, people can go in the late models. Maybe I would think that class is, is headed that way with a downforce bodies, cost $3,000, not much. Not much is holding them back for being some of the fastest cars out there. If we can uh, go back to the street stocks. With a with a ten to one motor, I mean with a crate motors, 
I have to might be able to come up with a spacer plate. And not only that, this year you're going to get a chance to waste your motors if I go crates next year in the 604 and the Sport Mods. I'm giving you a whole year to waste the tire, get your motor tired. So you're not going to freshen it. And, and I haven't got that far with the crates in the Sport Mods for next year. Which that's one of the big things I want to do is run the 604 crate engine for next year. But I don't want you guys to go out and think, you know, I don't want you to say I want crates now. You got to waste that motor. You got to tire that motor out you got now. And you got to look at, I got to rebuild that motor at, at seven grand. Or I step up and jump into Sport Mod with a 604 with 13 inch tires with a 650 and and then the money it costs to rebuild that crate you know I could buy a crate motor for sixty or seventy nine hundred dollars thousand dollars in pulleys thousand dollars in a carburetor I'm going racing for three years three years on that crate motor that 604 and then if we put you on some in fit uh, the cheaper Hoosier tires tires on Hoosiers now are 200 bucks for a modified so a lot of boys would drop from the modified, you know, drop out, you know, start to chase the RLC. They'll come back and run the Sport Mod class with the big tires and the 650 carburetor, okay? Now that's just up for discussion now. That's not locked in. I don't want you throwing bullets at me here. I just want you to, this is what I want to do for next year. That'll, that'll, that'll lighten up everybody's wallet. And especially, but you got to wear out your motor first. So I'm giving you a year to wear it out. So when you got to pay, pay uh, Morgan Tini to freshen that motor for for ten thousand dollars or ninety five hundred to dyno it, you're going to think about I get that motor for three years. It's going to be hard to wear out a motor in one or two races. Not at my track. You know, you're <laughs> saying, am, I, am I the only one you're going to run it at? I thought you. I thought you guys were travelers, and you're going to run the Lancaster and the Race of Champions. Okay, so say that happens. We'll say we go get the crate motors, and put in our cars. How are we supposed to go do whatever else we want to do? Well, we all have more than one car. Well, bring these money bags like you do. Go get a shoe tag. That's what you'll have to but decide. That's, uh, but in the do. same turn, though, I mean, I understand what you're trying to do here, but. For us to go other places, you know, we, we, we fought, I, I have fought with this with John White for years over this, and I will fight with John White every day. We have done this with mufflers, with motor rules, and all this other stuff, tires, everything. We can't go other places. We go John White rules, we got to stay his two tracks. So, if you're doing a restrictor plate thing or whatever, if you're doing the crate thing, well, I'm doing that's crap. awesome. Well, but I'm somehow you gotta let other guys come in, or you gotta let us go out. You know. Well, that he's up for discussion. Why don't we right. add 350 pounds to your car? That's right here in my belly, buddy. But, but he's willing. That's why he had the meeting. He wants to. Well, you know, it's not. You're not so much at. You go all your. You well, go up. You go up to New England. Okay. You know all your uh, Vermont up through there. Right. It's all you're finding is is the crate motors. You know they got 70 cars. We're down here fighting for a half a dozen cars, okay? When are we going to jump on the bandwagon? You can buy a 602 crate. There's a lot of boys that come and go in the dirt racing. Right now, you can buy probably four motors tomorrow for $1,500, a 602 crate with the 650 Holly on it, okay? And with all your pulleys for, for $1,500 to $2,000. So they're there. They're knocking out there. You know, we can run that in the street stock. Uh, the motor, I'm just trying to bring cars back. I'm, I don't have all the answers. You know, do you want to go someplace and, you know, you, you know you're looking at a, a crate motor? I'm sure you can find a 604 crate. The Vermont and up through there is, is freaking loaded with them. You know what I mean? Uh, they're, like I told you, 70 cars at the gate to get in with a 604 crate. You know, we're going to put them on 13 inch tires of a 650 carburetor. And you're not going to tell much difference. You're going to be faster with that 604 with 13 inch tires with a 650. You're going to be t faster than your sport mod is right now. 
That, that, Will they allow us in other places? You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. I don't have that answer. You know, George. If you if you go to the plan, one of the things you got to figure out is you know if, if you go to if you go to the 604 crate and say that that motor's got to come from GM and it's got to be sealed from GM and nobody can touch it, you're fine. But I could take our late model with a 12 to 1 five stage dry sump motor in it and go to Lancaster against Dave Russell running a Gordon 604. It's perfectly legal at every track. It's just been gone all gone through. And he'll stay door to door with that 12 to 1 dry sump car with that Gordon motor. We had that crate that we ran in the late models down the Shangri-La to that was a stock right from the GM crate, uh, crate motor. And I mean, that wouldn't touch Denise's car, anybody else's car. That well, had, that was that was thorn. that was my own fault there with Denise. The uh, I mean, that thing was about as illegal as you're going to get. Mm -hmm. But you know, you, when you're down to four cars, you know, it's just like anybody else. I kind of like Bob Stapleton. You kind of close your eyes and you you kind of you kind of let them flow with the thing. I'm yeah, not, no, I I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. I understand exactly what you're saying. If I put the crate motors. At my track, a 604, I will spend my last dollar to bring in the cam doctor or somebody to check that to make sure that motor is up to par. Besides that, I'll put a motor right there beside it in, in, the, in the shop. Now, I don't know if here if, they, if anybody around has got one you could get to come to the track and check, but if you go down south a lot of places where you run the 604s, there's so many guys in the Midwest. They bring somebody in with a port with a portable dyno and they put them on there, and they got to be within so much of the you know. Right, that too. I, I understand. Ways. But uh, pretty much our portable di dyno is right here. Is our eyesight? Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's our portable dyno. Who's going to have on who? You know, I mean, if the guy just pulls the way down the back straight away, you guys are you know you know how to get the cheese. You know what I mean? You're going to come up and, and say, look at that guy go, you know, you got to, you, you know, that's going to be us, you know. Let them make them change a couple complaints, he pulls over and puts, a, puts the, sh you know, the shed motor in. And, and then we won't have that problem. We'll kind of cut that, we'll nip that in the bud. We'll figure out all of them out. But once, next year, that's one thing I have to work on is to bring the track around. You know, I don't have a problem with the SST series if I left it be. But I'm looking to bring cars in from other t other towns. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if it, you know. I I don't know how far out the 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 604 crate is reaching right now. Is, is it is it is it past up in Watertown, Utica, it's where I could bring them in? I recently got the guy at Spencer with it one time, and he had it at Perry, and he he was all right, but it just. It, the big thing, if we, if we go building all these things for here, I, I'll do it. We all will do it. Can we go other places? I don't know. I know. I know. I mean, you know where they sell crates, probably, but I know other avenues. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Do you think John White is going to allow anything that's legal as Shang in it? That's what I'm saying. Same with that. Same with Lane. It's not going to happen. And and same with ROC. Hamburg's not allowed there. Chris, anyway. you're 100 percent right. My, yeah. my race schedule got cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> My problem with uh, John Boyd is I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what his problem is. You tell me what what's wrong with the ROC series with the uh, with with the uh, with the uh, it was was Scott Nicky versus uh, Lippa Lippa series. Them two guys can't get along. And if you could hook them together, you'd have a dozen a dozen more cars. Right here's your 604 guy. He's got one. He ran it at Shimon. What what happened? Uh, but the way they have the rules, if you cheat it with it, you can be competitive. But if you do it the right way, with the, the red limiters and all that stuff, there was no way you could compete against a, a built motor. Oh, that's a 15-year-old engine, too. Let's put that motor in Jimmy's car and see what he does. He liked it. I don't want it. He wheels on I don't want it. Well, listen, we can kick it around. Uh, as far as I... I don't know if you could put a spacer plate on a built motor and run them against a crate motor for next year, but I can tell you this much: there will be a spacer plate on a on a, on a, a sport mod because I got to get them coming up out of the corner. 
All them high dollar motors are eating them up out of the corners and they're leaving them. Once you get a jump out of the corner, you got to straight away. So if we can cut, we cut the shit down on the corners. We put a spacer plate inch and a quarter under them. Now that's a guy on a dyno, so you can laugh and snicker if you wish. But I'm going to tell you something, an inch and a quarter spacer plate will probably choke every one of your 355s down to their equal. Yeah, but then you're going to choke the guy building a home, home build motor down too. Well, that's right. Everybody will be equal. Even the guy at home will build, but you come to the racetrack, you're going to get... No, but what he's saying is you can, have, you can have my motor. You can have, that's what you're saying. Morgan yeah. Tini, me and TJ, you're going to have our motor. That's basically, that's all that's going on here. Morgan Tini. Or you can have a staple center or a whoever Whatever, else I, 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 I can't remember that far back here. But I'm just, you keep saying Morgantini. The only two Morgantinis well, in the house is me and TJ. Oh, three now. Now. That's what it is. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, what he's saying is home built motor or a Stapleton or whoever. This is where motors make power, is in the lightweight or high dollar components. What he's going to do is choke the gas <coughs> and the air coming in. That makes all them bottom ends, them expensive Honda rods, all that bullshit. It doesn't matter no more. But you're, you're still going to have the built motors, Morgan Tini, Stapleton, whoever else, going to run restricted. We are. We are this year. We are this year. Okay. Are this year I'm just what, what, they would, what he was just saying. You're choking everybody. Yeah. You're doing everybody. Every motor. Not just the Morgan Tini. No, you're no, no, everybody. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. So you're going to go from the. Well, if it's a Morgan T or it's a whoever, I, I'm, I'm, more worried about, I'm more worried about the little guy that's riding in the you're back of the path. Right, you're yeah. choking him even more. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what they're trying to uh, say. Oh, they're, they're all <laughs> equal, equal <laughs> right? No, exactly. Right. exactly. Speak up. No. Say something. Exactly. Exactly. You're not listening. I know. You're choking yeah. everybody. You're that? choking them worse. What, what they're going after. <laughs> you're all going to get the same amount of fuel. You know what I'm saying? Your car's only going to go so hard. No, I just, I, you know, that's it. I, I, I'm not going to get upset. I'm going to ask you to leave the, leave the party here, okay? I'm, I'm not, I've told you when I started this, I'm not going to get all excited, okay? So, we'll check on to it. We'll see what the more, you know, what the engine builders do, if it's, it, 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 who, who it may be. The only reason I'm saying Morgan Dean is the only one I can remember, okay? I have a little problem remembering all these names and all these numbers, but uh, it's it's one of the deals that for next year you guys want to you you don't want to travel a long ways, you don't want to freshen, you want to sit and have a, a Saturday night show every Saturday night. You can have it right here at Shanger Lot with a motor that's going to be equal to everybody, and uh, and then we got to work hard to get it, you know. We can bring in 604 crates for May 19th. I can go get a sport mod, a couple sport mods that have 604s and bring them down here and see how they do against uh, uh, against the you know the built engines with a with a with a spacer plate on it. Maybe 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 uh, the spacer plate ain't enough. If you put a, according to the engine builder, if you put a six and a quarter. And on everybody, everybody to be equal. Everybody. Even the built engines. You go home and do your homework, call all your engine builders and see what he says. What is, especially one with a dyno. When he finds out, you'll find out it's a six and a quarter on a home built motor or on a regular Bruno motor or a Hunter motor, whatever it might be, it's all going to be the, all going to be the same, okay? Our problem is everybody's got such, they got such torque coming up out of the corners with all that high dollar stuff and they're just leaving everybody and, you know, it ain't the driver. You know, it's a lot to do with the lightweight stuff and I don't want to chase that. I can stick a spacer plate on them. I'm willing to do some testing. You know, I'll bring a 604 over before May 19th and we'll run them and see how, how they do in that sport my class. And if the 604 kind of whips your ass there boys you know uh runs with you that's all i care about i don't care about who wins i just hope they run with you and and when you go to freshen that motor for one year that crate motor you're going to get three so that's 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 the only reason i'm saying that and going that route is to save money 
And I think with a six uh, with a 13 inch rubber, with a 650, I think you were just as fast or not faster than what you are now. You guys are all after speed. Nobody's after nothing but speed. You know. So let's see where we're at with that. Well, I'm worried. I'm I'm kind of worried about you know. I don't see much home, you know, unless they do something with a, you know, Bobby Olympus does something, makes a special kind of rule or two with the late models, it's pretty tough for anybody to do anything with the late models. It's pretty much a dead class. And the modifieds, unless you've got money to go to run the whaling tour or uh, run the RLC, and they're not getting a lot of cars, you know. So I would think we uh, put our put our money and put our time towards uh, getting them uh, sport mods and SST series all equal, in in low on the the dollar sign. You know what I mean? That's what I would like to see. But if it don't work, we will leave it be. You know, we don't we don't want to kill the horse. You know what I mean? We got to pull the wagon, so we'll just, we'll just check it out. We'll put the we'll put a 604 there and test it with the big tires, and uh, we'll go that route and see where we where we fly. Oh, I don't know. Where's all the questions? So let's blast a few of them out. I'd love to see the street stacks go back to stock sort of position firewall, steel roof. Build your panels out of aluminum, Saginaw, 9 inch. You have to allow the floater because we all found out what a nightmare the other ones are. And get street stacks back to when you had 27, 28 cars. Well, that's where we got to do the crate, you know. Exactly. You know, if crate. you can, if you can call the call the boys up, they roll around and back and, for that. Like and sell them the sell them a crate motor. Yeah. You see one online for fifteen, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. They can't afford their fresh, and they got their there's puff and smoke. I, I think I Washington. think yeah, I think you can I think we could sell that far as for the four class, mm -hmm. but you are not going to touch the boys that already spent their forty fifty thousand on them them pretty cars, the you know downforce cars. They're not going to go back. Yeah, you can't you can't you can't go back. And they're, that, that's just a. Uh, that's, that's just it. That's the truth. There's not too many stock firewall cars left out there, George. Well, that's shenanigans. And the problem with that is, is you take the street stock class and look at look at the New York State series. You get cars. When you pay, they're getting. We had what 50 cars this year today about a memorial. I understand it was a hey, 12 grand in lap money is not a, a fair comparison for right. any right. other race. They had like look 40 at Evergreen and they had 40 at Perry. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're taking look at all the average races. They average 17 cars for a normal race, which is good. For where? For the normal races in NYSS last year, it's 17 what cars. What we average at Shimon last year? 10? 15? No, 14, 15. No way. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you we did. Oh, I bet you we have 14, 15 street stocks every week at Shimon. Some cars had stock firewall, some didn't. The, the series that we're running right now is working solely. The problem is, is that everybody has to get on the same page and run the same rules. I'm not, uh, I'm not taking that away from you. I'm going to tell you, I'm bringing that series in a couple times a year. You've got, you've got eight other tracks. Have at it, boys. Right. No, I'm not, what I'm, I'm not, saying is, is to, if you go back to like the factory stock deal, which is fine, that's what Perry runs, Lancaster has one of them, if that's the way you want to go, that's fine, but it's not the same cars we have now. Are we just worried about bodies and motors? Because I have a 10 to 1 motor and I don't have a $50,000 car by any means. Well, and I got one for sale. <laughs> it, it, you know, I would, Lamaru had a stock car in style on his car last year. He probably will this year. It's the same rules. You know, if it's only firewall and bodies you're worried about, I can put a firewall and a body on my car. Still the same thing underneath. Go Crossover headers, multi transmissions. I know what every part of it costs. It's outrageous. I went to B mods because you spent twenty grand on a street stock and you race for five hundred to win. A B mod you can buy for twelve grand and you can race for eight hundred thousand, twelve hundred to win. I'm not saying there's not people with crazy money in street stocks. Believe me, no. It well, just it got out of control. Not everybody has fifty grand in a street stock. Well, you know your top eight, your 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 uh, Johnson. 
chassis and them. Johnson, I'm a top well, eight car anyway. Are you winning? Yeah, I won the championship the last two years. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in Shamal. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> Every single series race I went to, I was in top five car. Did you win somewhere else? <laughs> Yeah. Well, hey, no poking. We're here to have fun. Well, I, I'm just saying next year. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. The boys want to run the series. You, you build it. They're entitled to go. Have fun. Enjoy your series. You know what I mean? You know you get some. You get some big sponsorship, lap money. I'm not gonna step on your toes. I'm just saying I got to do something for a backup class for Shangri-La, and I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't bring in your series. I can bring in Bobby Olepa's, uh show a couple times a year. When it's at Shimong, wherever I can maybe get a little back up, kick off the, off the wall. But I, I'm not looking to do that. I'm looking if I have 10 shows next year, I want 10 good shows. I want to try to bring the classes back in town. Uh, I don't want my, the guys that can't afford to chase a series. It just don't work. It ain't gonna work. We're gonna start with a street with the kids mm -hmm. and the four cylinders. We're gonna start with a, another class uh, with steel bodies, and and we'll see if uh, if we can get them back a little bit with uh, ten to one motors and, and kind of let them play, and uh, not not the big money, not the big money. You know they don't have, but I gotta leave them, give them something, and I need a backup class. Just, just having the sport mods for next year or four cylinders, I got to have another class, and What's I'm not going to bring in. I want to bring in Bobby Olympus series because I just got to hand him forty-two hundred dollars, and I don't have to tech. <coughs> Beautiful, George is happy. Give him the forty-two hundred bucks and move on. Yeah, you know, it. now I do something with the with the, with the sport mod. Can I do see something, something about that? Let's hear it. This Bobby Lip has been trying to call you all day. Yeah, what's that? He's not going to be bringing his series to your track this year. I figured that. And you know why. Yeah. I'm not going to get into any of that. I'm just relaying a message. Well, I, I, you know, I, I told him right off the bat that it would be, uh, would be the, the schmung over there. If you uh, bring you over here, even the RLC, uh, they're not gonna. They're not gonna let them come here because uh, you're not gonna race over there nine times this year. If you, uh, well, how many times you race? Because of me, because of my track. Oh, and they, they, they want to bring the RLC here, mm -hmm. race the champions. Yeah, the race is got to the Spencer the same day as the Super Stocks has got to there. I don't think they dare. <coughs> well, no, he said that. Well. You know what? You know more about that than I do, Chris. I, 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 I still agree with the rules package. If you have your race on the 19th, absolutely, you're going to get guys to show up for it regardless. Nobody's running. It doesn't have to be a series race if you run a series. Right. No, I know. <laughs> you're right. It's, it's not a series. You know, I just brought them in because it's easier on me. Right. I don't want to stress. I just, I just can't. Yeah, but there's it. other people that'll help you out on that. Yeah, I mean, John White and all that shit and that whole circus down there doesn't mean nothing. Well, everybody in this room right here, right, right now. This year because of you. They're That's all right. they're all kicking. You know, I I know what going Bobby on. Lippa says. It doesn't matter what John White says. Nobody else. Everybody in this room is here because of you guys. Because we don't want to. Because we, we don't want to go down there. Well, and if we do go down there, it's because you aren't racing. That's right. That's why we're here. Yeah. End of story. Yeah. Well, so Bobby Lippa is forty-two hundred dollars. Bobby Lippa tech. There's plenty of people around here. Yeah. Well, no, it's just up. a lot less on my on my platter. You know what I mean? I don't need all that bullshit. You know, no, I say you stick, stick fights with the, and all that garbage. I don't want that. I say you stick with the rules. His, oh, John Wayne, good. his, his rules mm -hmm. ain't trademarked, so you run his package with. Yeah, yeah. Huh? run your own stuff, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can do that. You know, I mean, we don't we don't have to. But you know, he's telling me the other night that he uh, had a. Uh, Mountain top there, I guess. Is it evergreen is it now? Mm -hmm. That uh, they was all racing there on Sunday, but Chris nothing Zach here on Saturday. Two of them. That's the RLC. Two cars. Yeah. Is that the RLC? No, RLC. All right. Then, then the other one is out. Uh, his is on. The other one's on. Uh, in Perry, the same day that the RLC scheduled. And what's the thing? Is normally we get along. They can get along. They have thirty something. Well, anyway, the one I'm running on Saturday. What's 
I heard somebody mm -hmm. mention it today, another little small track the other side of Binghamton, someplace out in there. Mm -hmm. what a little what track. Bethel. Oh. What was it? Bethel. Oh, yeah, that's like two hours away. That's yeah. Monticello. Monticello. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, he said that he had uh, his cars going out there, but they would come back, and I don't know. You know, or go through here and walk there. Duke. Nothing's carved in stone. I don't know which one, where, where he was going to go or who's, or who's going to do what. But anyway, there, that kicks that in the bucket. But So we'll run the race anyway. We'll figure out if we have to run dogs. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. So we just, we'll agree on one thing. We'll all, we'll all kind of hang in there for the 19th, huh? Yeah. On the nineteenth of uh, May. What's the status of the actual physical track? It's got some grass growing up through it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Every racetrack does. That's in Jamal. That's in everybody else. All right. Looks like we the track, 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 track surface is fine now. The heat yeah, and everything. The first two weeks you get a ride. I can still I can still run around there with a go kart, you know, and not fall off it. <laughs> any chance we can have an open practice before that, George? What's that? Yeah, any chance we can have an open practice before that? Well, you know, we ever, if he sure. never closes we the have. gate to show up, he won't throw you out. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, why I, I, did, I did that forever. I did that forever. <laughs> Just let everybody come in any time they want. If you get hurt, you broke so it. The, the May 19th <laughs> thing is kind of... Old. We're sticking to our normal windy. Pretty much, we're gonna we're gonna check on the on the, do some testing on the spacer plates. I'm gonna try to get a 604 in there and uh, put him on some big tires and a big 650 and and see how he runs with you guys for next year. We'll do a little practice in there. We'll, um, like I said, to share share with everybody. What are you saying? We're waiting for you. What are you saying? Let's hear it, Chapman. So the 19th for New York State rules, super stocks? Yeah. yeah. For sure. For sure, we're not changing okay, nothing, but I want their cars. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do nothing. Jill's we're not going right, right. to try to change nothing. Uh, we don't want no bitching. You just show up with, the, with their yeah, rules, and right. we'll get some way to go over the car for you and uh, make sure. If you raced it before, you got the rules, and the car's all set. And we're not going to do that. We'll have to figure out a purse. We'll post it. We'll do it. We'll do our homework. We're trying to get our, our, our man that was doing our website a year ago. Better. He just disappeared. Better. You know what I mean? He closed down and he went to work for someone, so we're trying to get a hold of him to get our website back up because he has all our stuff. Use Facebook. Why do you do? Yeah. Anyway, we have a little legal matter there to get our to get our paperwork. He has all our stuff for both drag strip and circle track, and we need that also. How many people in here that own a street stock currently would be open to the idea of getting a 602 crate and racing 12 to 15 races next year? On your night of choice. I vote for Thursday nights. I know it's tough. Have you guys ever went to a dirt track anytime on a Wednesday, Thursday? Yes. You can't even find a seat. You have to stand there and, and, and guard your eyes. You don't even watch the race. When you leave, you still had a good time. Here's my thing, though. If you're policing the crates, because you know as well as I do, that $1,500 you know well that $1, crate isn't going to run with the $5,500 crate that's on the same George will put that crate right in the tech barn. That okay, guy, yeah, Gary fine. Noe, pulls away that. from Aaron. He'll you take my that. motor out and give it to you. You pull away from me anyway. You weigh a lot. But no, as long as it's policed, that's yeah. great. Well, you know, but so if it's well, not policed, well, would you, you guys travel up here every weekend? We to travel come everywhere. Well, well, listen, listen, right? if, you, if you buy a crate motor out, out of the magazine it's there and on, on, on the Facebook or wherever you, wherever you get this out of it, it's, it's got to it, it's gotta be make sure it's legal when you buy it. Right. You know, what you I'm buy, saying is... motor, it's got to... Everybody can buy the seals and put the seals on. George is throwing me out, trust me, to throw you out the same. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying, though. He's trying to make an affordable class. What I'm saying is the class got way out of hand with the street stocks. You know that. Right. 
But you now we can build a six thousand dollars street stock yeah. race ready, and he's gonna pay us a thousand dollars to win do now. in a right. pure stock with go. a six oh two grade. Right, but what I'm saying is, as long as they're policed, that's fine. Yeah, but good. these guys building crate motors, they're building crate motors and sealing them. They're not crate motors. No, yeah. I know that. I think, I think, I think if you had one, if you if you had your own crate motor, yeah. and then you took their motor and gave them yours, and then sent it out, no complaints. And if it wasn't right, right then they got to pay for it, or they don't come back. You know? Exactly. When, I, when right. I was in Florida walking around, we could all have a street stock I, just I, for a plane. I, I left New Smyrna and I went to every years. racetrack. And, and I, you know, hey, three three and I walked around. You know, if you got caught cheating a crate motor, the motor come out of the car. It went to Vermont. Now listen to this. This is five, six years ago. It went to Vermont because that's where crate. So that's how long crate motors have been around. You know what I mean? Because they, their series down there took a crate five years ago and sent it to Vermont to have it tested. Then they send you the results back. And then you're out for two months. And the next time you're out forever, you know, because you're on that series, you know, in that crate. So, but you know, when you take a motor out, I don't know, here, we find the address in Vermont and we send them there. That's where they're built. Not, not, not out in Detroit, they're built in Vermont. So, in some place in New England states. So, that's where we send the motors and get the results while you run a backup motor. It's, it's very simple. If you run away with it, be ready to change your motor. <laughs> That's it. That's, oh, no, that's, that's fine. Perfect. That's exactly what you're going to do. Then we're all even. But, you know, I gotta, you got to do your homework a little bit. You know, you call your engine builders about putting a, putting a, putting a spacer plate on your, on your motor you have now. See how close it's going to be. You're going to find out a poor man's 355 is going to be run just as good as that rich man up there up on the front row with that. You gotta, you gotta be able to get yours. Out. Your engine builder is the only one that's gonna tell you that. Because everybody else is, they don't know shit. You know what I mean? But the engine builder knows. You know what I mean? He's gonna tell you in the right direction if we're right or wrong. I've talked to two of them. They're all gonna be equal on an inch and a quarter spacer plate. The rich and the poor are gonna come together. So you might want to ask that tomorrow to pick it around. You got to look it out. But I'm telling you right now what he told me. So give it no shot. Next year is next year. We got to worry about this year. You know what I mean? Can we run the Dodge Crate motor? Yeah. Exactly. Every crowd. You're going to need it with the spacer. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen. How are we going to police the tire and the super stock? The 19th, without the records from Lefa. I don't know. Buy your new tires, scuff them. Don't worry about it. We got to find somebody. You know, if you're buying used tires, where are you going to go with that? You know, I don't know. You know. I'm going to stick keep my hands. I'm going to have to find somebody that's the king on used tires. Frank, did you find any credibility in the system the New York Superstock Series uses? Being the guy who sells the tires, races against you, he's the champion of the class. Is there any credibility in that? <laughs> well, what do you worry about? Put four stickers on, scruff them in your front lawn, and come on down. Perfect. Everybody else does. You might as well so basically, that's what, we're, that's what we're getting at. Because we all, even at... Well, maybe, circus. maybe we can put. We can only put one tire on. Ah, that's bullshit. So we, we, we can show up. And, uh, we can show up with tires. That's how I say. There you go. We got the tires. Why don't we just put this to vote right now, like on uh, for the city boy who's got that super stock, or May nineteenth? We're going to let them just put four new tires on. No, this used shit. Then you could cycle them in as your used Where tires you yeah. for the series. Where you get them? Are we running every drink? So, buy for the main show for the superstar. Bring them. If you're going to buy four new tires, it doesn't matter if you buy four Hoosiers or four, four American racers. It won't matter. It won't matter as far as I'm concerned. You want to go a little faster? You put the Hoosiers on. As long as we, you know, if you got that series, it won't matter. You just but said that you want everyone on the same tire that's down the road. I said we can, but we ain't got nobody to police it. How are we going to buy used tires? Oh, no. I'm talking new tires. Oh, new, new tires. Go for it. I don't care. Run used Chris, tires. Chris, what car are you driving? Class, but you I haven't. <laughs> now, now he has an opinion. No, yeah, no, no, no. You, can, you, can go to, you can go to Shimon. You can buy your American Racers. 
Four? If that's what everybody... Yeah. You can't buy four of them, The fuck you can only sell you They'll sell them to you. You just can't run them at that time. You go to Perry. Right now, I'll tell you right now, you call up there and say you wanted 20 sets of tires, they'll sell them to you. Yeah. I guarantee you, if we go up there this morning and we tell them we need four tires to run on <laughs> or whatever it is, he's going to say, Yeah, yeah it is, because it's his money. They'll sell them to you, that's where you're going to make money. money. But he's not oh, he says if he, take, if, if he goes there and says, I need four tires for Shanger Lot, he's going to say no. Yeah, you got to run it against them, are you? Yeah, but we got 15 American racers that we only got to run one, and he wants to set in the grass, and we can't use them again. So we'll use that. So the 19th is American Racers. Or 1070s on a street You got what you guys want? What do you, you want? Use no. up your, want to use up That's why he's here, Chris. He wants to hear well, your no, opinions. I, I'm hearing one thing. What, that what, what, what tires do you out. want on your car? I'm going to want the Hoosiers. I'll buy you four new Hoosiers. Oh Bam. Chris is running Hoosiers. You can't buy me tires. You can buy me tires. You buy tires. You run an American Racers or Hoosiers. He's going to run whatever hell he's got laid in the back corner of his garage. That's right. That's the truth, and that's why he likes to and why well, listen, because he can buy some money game here. What, <laughs> this is what you guys want. You don't want to. You don't want to fleece the tires. Let's do. Let's just buy four new ones. You want to fleece them? You guys want to buy four new uh, American racers? Well, that's what you want to buy. That's what you. That's what we'll all run. Yeah, but you if can you call American Racer and say, "Hey, listen, I'm putting this race on. I'm going to have X amount of cars in the in general vicinity, and they'll give you money." They'll put money in your pocket to go towards fixing whatever. There's an opportunity. Yeah, I, never got, I never got that far up the ladder. I said <laughs> I was always at the bottom. You know? They were uh, ready to throw twenty grand at me to do a modified series that I couldn't pull off. Imagine what they'll do for you. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You guys keep saying buy Hoosier, buy this, buy whatever. These tire companies will put up money for you to run that tire. Well, if you got, we run the Chris Zachariah Super Superstock series, and you buy the fucking tires and get your twenty thousand dollars. I'm saying if I'm running the series, it's going to be on a specific tire that's going to put that brand new voice on. Put it on paper. He's here for options, opinions. Well, listen, he don't want the racetrack to go any more grass. Well, listen, if you got a if you got a bunch of if you got a bunch of again. All right, hold up Nobody here. Will if you got a barn full of American racers, if you only ran one time, if you want to run that class, as long as they're not softened, if you want to run that whole city that on the 19th, you want to run it, uh, your sport mod and your uh, and, and and everything on American racers, I'm all for it. I, I don't care. I could care less. I could care less. If you guys want to put them on four new Hoosiers, uh, you won't have any spares on Hoosiers. You might want to go with American Racers where you got spares, y'all. The New York State Series has got. Uh, well, I think the guys that are here are your core people that plan on supporting them. And it should be up to these guys here and now to decide what they want to do for a tire and, and when. Spit it out. I'm ready here. I'm not arguing. Do a vote. Do a vote. Raise a hand. American Racer only. Brand new. I don't believe I don't I don't believe you're a How many laps on the on the super stock? Thirty. 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 Demo's thirty. Super stock's thirty. B mods forty. Seventy-five B mods. What? I'm up for hundred for both. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
35. Is that what everybody agrees on? I like that number. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 35. Okay. A sport mod. How many laps on a sport mod? 75. 75. That's a lot. 40. We're not going to do 70. And more. We're going to do extra. Don't go 50. I go 50. Over the night, nobody's raising it. Many people go home. Not many are going to last week. Yeah, so you're wearing, you're putting a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of strain on that brand new motor. <laughs> Not the Morgan Seedy motor, the other one. You know what I mean? All right, it's going to be 50 and 40. Or 35 it is, right? Now we're going to go with American Racers, right? No, Hoosiers. I would say Hoosiers. What are you doing for spares? How many tires do you want to buy? As many as you want to buy? Yeah. As many as you want to buy, because no, no. you got to know what we're going to order. You know what I mean? You want to buy tires? Buy tires. But the thing is, you got guys that are trying to come back out and do all this stuff. Frankie, Frankie wants used tires only. Right, Frankie? Well, so do I. Well, you just got to buy whatever's cheap and get a bike for the longest. What qualifies used tires? tires? What do you consider used tires? If I go out my front yard and, and stuff them. Not everyone has. Well, I've done it before. Good job, man. Look, if we run used tires, and we run 10 hey, or Hoosiers, we all have new tires right now. You've been doing this longer than most of us better Everybody been has new tires right now without buying new tires. Terry Pachanowski says everybody has used tires. He's got more experience than that whole thing. I, I could give two hoops on, so do on used tires, tires or new tires. Yeah, I just told you, yeah. buy all the tires you want. Newer use, no and enjoy yourself. You know what I mean? Was after that race. Well, that's why throw them in the bushes. Throw them in the bushes. I don't care. Put them in the barn. Put a little oil on them. But so, you know, anyway, what? If you, whatever you want. You know what I mean? I'm just telling you. Yeah. If you want, if you want to go to George Durometer rule. What's that? Durometer rule then. Oh, zero. Zero. Yeah. Well, there will always be a zero. zero. If you come 20 well, points you know, softer than the next guy. Listen, you know, if you get caught cheating on tires, you know the rule, you're always thrown out. Both. Actually, what are you yeah. talking but about? What is the rule? It's a disadvantage anyway. Oh, you want to run a soft that. tire? That's what I said. Yeah, 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 you got to yeah, 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 old tires. You have to give out to everybody. You got tires. You got tires. I can't do that. You guys are going to kill me. Oh, it is funny. Listen, so we're going to go with Hosier. Buy newer used. Just got a drummer. What are we going to do? F, F, what is it? 45? 10, 50? You want to put 10 70s all the way around? Yep. There you go, 1070s it is, Ten all the way around the car, and it's got a drama or what, what would you say? Put them on my tires. 35, 45, what are, what are the words? 60. Shut up. Say the number. Don't, don't let them have it. Don't let them have it. I'm just, I'm just asking. I don't, I don't, I don't want they, if they're stock tire. At least 60. If they're new, they try, what do they check out, 42 or something like that? No, 60. 50, 50, 60. They really are. They're 50, no, they're hot 50, 55. You're going to have your mind uh, back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be real hot. It's real hot out here. George, for the super socks, it might be in the best interest to allow them 1070s or the EC31s. Guys like Nick Robinson, I'd imagine he probably don't have a big stash of 1070s. You got those? But you've got a whole garage full of EC31s from Shimano. Yeah, I got both. So why don't we, for the super socks, allow them both? What about sport mods? The sport mods, that'll be the next argument. No matter what he says, he's going to please you. <laughs> listen, our, so he knows you, huh? Listen, the word, listen, let's get back to the real shit here. Let's, let's get this over with. So we're gonna run we're gonna run the Hoosiers and they're gonna drive around at at sixty. Right? No? Fifty five? There you go. Be honest now because that's what they'll be because it's won't be no change in it. So 55 is it? Like 50 to 55. And, and, and I say if you, uh, I don't know if you can even compete with a Hoosier, a brand new Hoosier against American Racer. I don't know if you can. You know what I mean? Quite one, one, last, one last six races on my track, one last, is last three. You know what I mean? So if we put 1070s, you probably, you probably get most of the time they blister. You know, so I would say, you know, the American racer would do better at my track far as for to last a long time, but far as, you know, for traction wise and handling it's not gonna you know, it's just not gonna hold up. You know, not it's gonna be as fast anyway. So we do ten seventies on them, the other ones 
Hoosier 75s. On the, on the, oh, you guys are on 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 70s. 1070s. Oh, you're 1070s too. So we're all 1070s, right? Well, what the hell is the problem? <laughs> what the hell? We're over here arguing over nothing. <laughs> So if you got you got new or softener on it, you better not come over to that 55. I don't want to know shit. You know what I mean? You better not be over 55. You take a tire two years old, put a little juice onto it, it'll probably come to 55 all by itself, right? What kind of juice should we use? Yeah, listen, paint thinner. Listen. Cranberry. Cranberry. Anything to say? Good? Everything, everybody all right? Everybody good? Problems? We'll show for next year. we got a long ways to go for next year. We'll just do for these two races and a ball brawl without fighting and killing us. <laughs> You're giving me a heart attack. You know yeah, what about the bar? Running four bar running four I, heard, I heard you're building a bar at that racetrack. Are you running four cylinders? Yeah. Tire rule, stop, well, whatever. How many friends you bring in? You make the rules. I don't know. I got a tire rule. Let me post that. I know. I own them. Uh, Perry has a good, good four cylinder uh, rule. Hold up, hold up. He's talking. Perry has a good four cylinder, four, you know. A good rule book for four cylinders. Okay. If you're happy with that, that's what we'll copy. Okay? That's what we're not gonna write, you know, if you're alright with that, that's what it'll be. The four cylinder Perry rule book for the four cylinder. So you'll be running them this year. I hear you, big boy. But he's got this you know, is an opinion and it's probably not gonna be popular, but as far as purse wise, I really hope since you're getting this deal to get back off the ground and get it going, you don't promise the world as far as money wise so you don't get hurt. I mean, that was probably go off of what you get. He, three races. He can handle three losses. No, no, no. no, that, no. <laughs> Worry about us racers. If you go out and say you're going to pay a thousand to win, and three people show up in the stands and four people in the pits, it's just going to kill you. I don't. I don't even think you should put a purse out until everyone gets there and you see what kind of day you're going to have. Put a percentage out there. Exactly. Well, well I didn't really. Honest, I have never time. mentioned we're, the we're price since I sat here. Jaws over there re ripped off a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? That that, that 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 you know that ain't setting too good right now, I guess. But uh, we'll figure out the prices. You know, I've always been fair. You know, if you got to have more than five cars per class to 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 have any to pass the buck out, pass the buck out. You know, my deal is to get the people in the stands. The more you can help me. You know, you guys got you guys, you guys with money. You guys with money. Want to donate a you want to donate a bicycle or a fluorescent coat for the little kids? Have at it. You know what I mean? Dig a little deep. Let me get some. Let me get some shit going on in the stands. You know, nothing wrong with a thirty dollar fluorescent coat. You know, a couple hats, a couple a couple bicycles. You know, keys to their grandmother's car. I don't care. Something to make everything go, you know. But that's what I gotta have. I gotta have help in the stands. It's not you guys. You guys are all pissing because you're pissing around with a couple tires at 150 bucks a piece. But if we can get the people in the stands, of uh, four or five hundred people, let it go from there. I think it'll do good because it's the first race out. It's the first race out of the box, so it ought to do good. If uh, everybody's together and I say positive things on the. On the, on the Facebook, say positive things, say, hey, beautiful meeting, lie if you want, but it's just lie for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> What's that? Can I throw a couple other things out? Get her out there, big boy. If it's going to be a shit forecast four days out, bail on it early enough and reschedule it so you don't get hurt. Well, I had that broke somewhere, but never looked at it, looked it up. I, I would like to do it within three weeks of... <coughs> You know what I mean? You gotta find out where we're at with this. Uh, you know, you got everybody's gonna open the door that day. We might I hate to say it, we might have to go to a Sunday afternoon or a Thursday night to make it happen. Uh, you know, you gotta get the crowd. Saturday, it'll be a little chilly, but it's our first. It's a Saturday that we have back. We'd have it made. You know what I mean? You know, if the, if the weather's, if the sun's out, 
I would love to have a Saturday. We don't want to do May 17th at night, do we? We're not doing night. No, we're not doing night. We're doing like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. We'll post that. Yeah, no, we don't want you to put long johns on just show up. But uh, we'll go from there. I guess you guys, I thank you for coming. If you got some ideas, don't blast my phone out. No more. Asshole gave my phone number out. <laughs> so, you know, just get on the get on there and send me a little flyer or something there, and we'll take it from there. We'll be having our website back up here in a week or so. So as we get the guy in jail, we'll have it made. Wow. I guess everything else we got a pretty good set. I'll go home, get it all there, wrote down, uh, and uh, get it posted. You know what I mean? Hopefully, we drag a few other people in. We'll give her help. Sorry, I didn't do anything about late models. Well, I didn't come thinking you were. Yeah, you know I, mean? I just I, I'm more interested. Believe me, if you if you sometime, I'll show you my rules. I was uh, I I have a set of rules that would. Would almost scoot you down to the beef with them guys, you know, choking you down. Would but you add weight, put a restrictor plate, and run $80 shocks like the street stocks do on a, on a fancy weight model? And do you think you could still beat the street stocks? Put them on a crank motor with a I don't care if you got 12 to 1 compression. I don't care if you got a dry sump. I think we could even it up with just a few parts. I don't know. Billy Coyle is the only person I've ever met. He's so negative about it because he has a $50,000 street stock. Versus your $40,000 late model. I think well, we can still beat you. That's more than $40,000 late model. You know what I mean? Everybody Here's my point. Just hear this. I think you can even them up and make it work. Yeah, you I put about a 7 8 a sway bar, a 7 8 sway bar. Put everybody on a steel housing shock. They're all the same. $120 shock. You put them on a turning weight on the transmission, all 30 pounds of, of plus. Nothing under 30 pounds. That takes away from your five figure pressure plates. The high dollar ship, and, and then then let you run a quick change. It's just as much uh, and uh, put you put you on the eight inch tire, bring you back to life against the ten inch tire. It would be it would it would thirty one hundred. And everybody, 3, 100, 3, 100, 3, 100, and everybody, every, everybody had to. Okay, you guys run eight inch on the super stock? Yeah. Yeah. No, but you're faster. Well, you're faster. We have yeah. eight inch wheel. The only concern I have on the eight inch, and we I'm talked sure about this like before. That. Is with, with the weight, you know, how's that thing going to handle all well, the damage? Well, don't matter. We're taking away your left side percentage. I don't know. Too. When I, we ran, yeah, when when we ran Flemington, we ran, uh, you know, 31, yeah. 3,200 pounds on eight inch tires, and we came from Flemington back to Shangri La and ran on them, and we were just as fast, you know what I mean? You know, so I don't think you asked how you can make them legal. I just kind of tell you that you can, you can start choking them down. That crate motor you got. Seven eight yeah, sway bar. There you go. You know, best thing to do is sell them the last one. That, that <laughs> and, and join the bandwagon before it's too late. You know. Well, that's that's why I came was to see where you're headed with stuff and where what we're doing. Uh, as far as uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. All thing I'm looking for is a series. Is to hire the series in. You know what I mean? I don't want to own the series. I just want them to come in. I want my own. Little gathering up there with, well, I know. with the metal body cars, and it's. Uh, I know, uh, you know, Dave Russell from Buffalo. He, he called me today. If they're going to run a few races, see if they see if they just be able to get the ROC to bring the body back. But you can have the same problem there. They probably want to afford it. Well, I hear uh, you know uh, the Johnson chassis has a street stop. You know, late my regular. You know, everything is the is everything is the same. So, I don't know if, if that class would do. Oh, yeah. And 